behind these trees is more crests. I'm gonna try to get closer as I think it was Charlie Chaplin's house. Maybe we can see from here. This is the house. Well, we don't see much and we shouldn't really do that. But this was Charlie Chaplin's house in the beginning of the 20th century. And he was close to a group that came from the UK and India mostly. And that was a spiritual group who was completely different from, from Hollywood and had completely different ideals. They were spiritual, they wanted to grow fruits and vegetables and be very environment friendly, related to the cosmos and nature. Obviously Hollywood was made as a car friendly community. This is uh, Temple Hill. Temple Hill is actually named after what we are looking for, a temple that was at the center of this, this colony. Uh, we see the entrance here and this is the bigger entrance that way. I don't know if there is anybody here. Hi again. Sorry. Hello. Okay. So she said they were not interested. That's how it goes in the Hollywood Hills. So we're gonna go to the temple place, which is called Crotona, which was the name of the colony that was built here as an alternative Hollywood dream. So there is an helicopter here, a fire truck here, and this is the entrance of the temple of uh, Crotona, established 1912. So this colony was built more than a century ago before the Hollywood sign was even planted on the hill, which happened in 1923. We'll try to get in the the building and Sasha is waiting for us inside to show us the place. <laughs> so you were uh, in the pool when I uh, disturbed you <laughs> when I arrived? I was by the pool. Yeah. It used to be a little uh, cafe from what I know. That's why a lot of like apartments uh, in the hallway, they don't have kitchens because they used to eat over here. Okay. But now they do. They like build in little uh, thingies so where people can cook. And do you want to show it to me? Maybe we can go get closer to the pool? Is it Absolutely, allowed? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. This area was created so, throughout COVID. We like put like little bean bags and you see flowers and everything. It's a else. common area? Mm hmm. How many people uh, live in this, this building, do you know? Oh, I'm not sure, but it's about 50 units altogether. I entered this building. I was curious because it seemed mysterious. It mm -hmm. says it's a, a temple. Yes. So what was? Where, where is the temple? What is the temple? <laughs> <laughs> well, it used to be a philosophical society, and then uh, the guys moved, um, and then this building became an apartment complex. And we have the beautiful temple up over there. So um, is this a real, like a temple? Is it because of the shape? Yeah, up over there in the dome. Ah, yeah, right we can there. see a little round mm -hmm. roof, and yeah. is, is it a, like a place where people would pray? Like, is there still a room to, yeah. to see? Or, uh, well, now it's an apartment. It's a ah, studio okay. apartment. It's beautiful, open floor, and the dome creates a beautiful sound. If you know ah. the singer LP. She used to sit there and play uh, her guitar and sing songs for us before she became mega famous. When was that? Oh, that was maybe four years ago or so. Okay. Yeah. So are there like uh, known artists who live here or who come here before they become known? Yep. Lisi used to live here. She became quite famous. Uh, well, Lisi, is she a musician? She is a singer as well, yeah. Okay. LP, um, 
uh, then we had I don't remember the top of my head. My husband is better with the names. Is it mostly musicians or no, like Walt you Disney used to live here and create Walt Disney? Know? Yeah. Quentin Tarantino stayed here a few mm -hmm. months when he was writing True Romance, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they filmed True Romance here as well. Yes. It was in the upper apartments, yeah. But you weren't here at this time? No. No. I wasn't. I've been here for what, like sixteen years? Sixteen years? Mm -hmm. Oh okay, so you still enjoy it. It's a gorgeous place. And, you and know, the pool is the best. <laughs> would you say like th these people were there, were they here because of like an aura of the building? Or is it because of the Theosophical Society and the history of the building? Or mm. it's just random? I think it's so funny because I see a lot of people are coming to look at the place itself before they move in. And with my husband, we always joke about it. You can see those people, you can spot them from far away, like the ones that are going to stay. They have just like a different feel about the place. They come in and they can uh, feel the building and the history itself and embrace it. People love it. They feel it, like really feel the artistic energy flowing. And do you yourself know about the, the values or what was the, the life of the Theosophical Society here? Um, not familiar with that. No? Yeah, it wasn't my thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> But you say, you, you're saying it's still here. There's still some, something special. Yes. So what is this thing? This place is ruled by cats. We always had lots of different cats walking around. And Do you want to show me the rest while you're telling me? Sure. You yourself had a cat. I have three cats now. Three cats, okay. Yeah, I've been <laughs> helping at the shelter and fostered okay. four kittens and kept two of them. So. And what's the story with the cats? Well, some people said that they would see uh, ghost cats in the apartment. Okay. I personally experienced that. Oh, yes? Uh, yes. You did? Feel, feel cats walking on me. Like, before I got the other guys, uh, before I go to sleep, I would feel somebody, like, walking on my bed and, like, curling. It's so cool. <laughs> so, wait, what? You, you felt a ghost? It's, wow. It's, it's really it cool. It sounds mystical. It sounds very much, like, theosophical, uh, well, compatible. So so some people said that they had like, uh, one girl said she had like a portal inside her apartment for like a what? weird portal for like weird energy coming in and she said dark portal. I don't know, but Is it, hey. So, so it's real, like people from different apartments feel this kind of, uh, how do you say, invisible energies, presence. presence. Mm -hmm. I heard the Theosophical Society was called a cult by, by some people around here in Hollywood. Would you call it a cult? What? I'm not familiar with the yeah. philosophy, so I can say. Leanne was very interested in that. And yeah. She also, she lived in the dome as well. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, she saw ghosts and she actually uh, was She saw a ghost, a so it's not only invisible. Mm -hmm. What are these ghosts? People. She saw people. People? Mm -hmm. She discovered that those people actually uh, lived in that apartment. You talk about this like it's normal, but it's <laughs> it sounds uh, sounds like a zombie story, but in real life. No, it's, it's cats. <laughs> I love cats. And so it doesn't feel weird to live among this invisible presence? Mm -mm. Well, no. at least you have such a beautiful <laughs> view. The view is gorgeous. Yeah. And, yeah. They left before all this madness arrived. Mm -hmm. I keep discovering things, but right there, I oh. saw there is a monastery. Yes, there so is a monastery. Is it linked to the building here? No, it's a separate, it's a monastery of angels. We have a good collection of nuns over there. They make the banana bread. <laughs> okay. That's oh, one. there you go. That's dad. I remember his green eyes. Is it like a community lifestyle here? Uh, would pretty you say? much so. Yeah. Yeah, we hang out together. With sometimes like people, you know, you like you get closer with one person and you get closer with another person. Yeah. Our good friend of ours just moved upstairs above us, and so I'm watching his cat. Okay. And um, he watches mine. Do you have ceremonies <laughs> or uh, I don't know some nights where no, you gather no. and you push no, them away? No, some people do. Yes, we have a, a couple how to say, spiritual, dri spiritually driven people that they put like um, crystals together and 
I don't know, fielded energy. Okay. Yeah. What do they do, those uh, spiritual people here? <laughs> what, what do they do uh, as a job? Um, not sure. One lady, she works at the store uh, down the street. Um, the rest, I'm not sure. You're not it's, sure? It's kind of like one of those things. We just get together on a neighborly basis. Uh, and then work is work. And, yeah. and your work? <laughs> what, what is your uh, job? Uh, I'm a project manager. Okay. I work uh, for the lending company, doing personal projects. For what company? Support. Lending company. Okay. So it's more finance? Yeah, finance driven. And I also work for a medical company. Like it must be very different from here. Is yes. it? Do you like the contrast? <laughs> Come. Yes. Yeah. What do you do here besides um, enjoying the pool? I garden. Can? I have my cucumbers growing. People actually grow uh, fruits and vegetables? Well, I grow fruits and vegetables. You do? Yeah. You know that's what they used to do, that there's a fists. They used to grow things. Well... Maybe more. Where are your cucumbers? Um, I'm not... There is a cucumber hanging. There are some tomatoes and... Uh, oh, there you go. Stuff. Well yeah. done, well done. You have a uh, few tomatoes here. <laughs> <laughs> you have some red ones. Okay. And, and some strawberries. Yes. Yeah. And lots of herbs. Those are my blueberry bushes, but they're done for the season. Okay. Um, I, I see them. there is like a painting and a book there. It yeah. doesn't seem like a sealed of the old book. Where is the Hollywood sign, just to, to have an idea? It's going to be right there, um, right behind this tree. So ah, okay, so we don't the see stairs, them. Yeah, you will be able to see it. I, I know the Theosophists went away just a few years after they were uh, erected on the, the hill. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's maybe what drove them away. Yeah, <laughs> well, possibly, I mean, possibly. Maybe the Hollywood like... lifestyle in general yeah. was not very Building. compatible. It's interesting exactly. to, to get back to that time and imagine how Hollywood was. Yeah, Our... and then in the 90s, 80s, 90s, and then 2000s too, even when I moved in, we had so many amazing parties going on. Oh yeah? Before it became kind of like sketchy Hollywood. What is sketchy Hollywood? Is it the Hollywood of today? Yeah, um, <laughs> right now because uh, um, there are just a lot of like homeless people coming closer. So how is the how is the life now in Hollywood? It's all right. It's always beautiful. Would you say it's uh, spiritual? You know, this particular area is fantastic uh, for basically any sort of like religious aspect. Yeah. Uh, we do have the monastery of nuns. Yeah. Um, uh, monastery of angels down below. We have the Russian Orthodox Church. Um, mm -hmm. And you're uh, originally from Russia, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Are you yourself religious or you... no? no? No, I just know about those and I go visit. I love like churches. History is beautiful, you know, just to be yeah. there, the, um, the feel of it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the feel of it, something strange just happened. The video was silenced, just went off without warning. So now I'm walking by myself in the street along the monastery. I said goodbye to Sasha. I'm going towards the Russian church as I'm thinking of what just happened. On my way, there are books on the sidewalks, which is pretty rare here. We're not in Paris. And I see this book why things are answers to every essential question in life and let's see what's behind it greek drama that's the source of hollywood but this is the back of the temple when we where we just were talking with sasha so i'm back here but on the other side and then the russian church is over there we can see the temple from here the dome part it's it's way more obvious from that angle. There it is. The Holy Virgin Russian Orthodox Church of Hollywood. As I'm thinking about it, I don't know if it's an angel or a Hollywood ghost that was watching us and uh, who reminded us of the implicit law, the Omerda, that is ruling Hollywood. But even if now the Hollywood dream is very different from what it was, probably when those churches were built, we can still find some 
big names that were actually influenced in some way by it. We talked about Charlie Chaplin at the beginning. I can mention also George Lucas, who was uh, interested in Krishnamurti's teaching when he was making Star Wars. And we can see it from the whole concept of Star Wars and the universe and the force. So this is the entrance and there is some loud music, but it's not here. All right. And then there was also James Cameron, who visited a Theosophist artist when he was making Titanic. He got the inspiration from this woman in Ojai. That's where Krishnamurti and some of the Theosophists moved after they fled Hollywood. And so this character, uh, named in reality Beatrice Wood, became an inspiration for the female character of Titanic, the character named Rose. Now, there's a big, big, big gap between Crotona's ideals and Hollywood. But I'm not sure which dream has won because the Hollywood dream is kind of used and old now, whereas the ideals of Crotona, the respect for nature, the equality between men and women, and also, of course, the spiritual side of it and the the use of the concepts of karma and meditation and yoga. This is very, very trendy and people dream of that too now. So we'll see what the future says. Only God knows. Or the universe. Or the force. <laughs>